What's good, what's good, what's good, people? This your boy, man, coming to you today, man. I want to do a video um, about my studio. So what I'm going to do, man, I'm going to be giving y'all a tour today. So let's get ready for the ride. This is my home studio. Um, yeah, this is it. So what I'm about to do, I'm gonna turn the lights on. You know, I'm gonna explain something to you. Explain to you about the equipment I got. So hold on for that. All right, I'm back with the tour, man. Uh, so let's go through the equipment. Uh, first, I have a pair of Personas E8, Ares E8s, uh, studio monitors. Uh, they are power, so you don't need a separate power amp. Then I have a pair of KRK Rocket 8s, and they are power too, so you don't need a power amp for that. Um, as far as my mixing boards, man, I have a Personas 1602. Um, and my main mixer I'm using right now, man, is a Personas RM32 um, AI. Um, and then here I have a PV uh, IPR25000 and an IPR22000. And I use those for these here, which are uh, PV, uh, SP2s, um, and then the other power amp is used for my monitors, which are PV, PV15s. So I use these in my studio, and I use them in live situations. Uh, here, have the machine 16 I mean the machine MK2 my bad and then um, my MacBook MacBook Pro I'm running it to a, a Vizio 32 inch um, just for extra monitor then I have an iPad here in this used as my extra screen and then over here I have the iPad Pro and I just use that to control the RM32 mixer. Then here man I have the Yamaha Mo X8. Uh, it has the MIDI controller built into it so I can play this live. I can play it uh, in my software as a MIDI controller. Uh, pretty cool keyboard man. No need to get a, a extra MIDI controller when I can use that for this one. Here, man, I have the the little Samson speakers, man. I use those for the keyboard when I don't want to come through the mixer, man. I can just, you know, sit here and mess around. I can use those speakers. Um, over here, man, I have my bass setups. Um, that right there is the PV 15-inch uh, TVX series. Um, then I have a PV Tool 450 here. here. Then above that I have a Rumble 150. Um, and we come over here, man. I have a Rumble of uh, 15 down there. And on top I have the Rumble 14. And um, I'm using the MPEG Portaflex series, uh, PL500. Uh, pretty nice head, man. I've had it for about four months, man. It's 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 pretty cool amplifier man for the most part over here man I have Blues Junior man a guitar amp uh, it's an all tube amp 15 watts pretty cool amp man pretty it's alright you know I'm not a guitar player but you know I, I mess around a little bit over here man I have a Rumble 25 man a little practice amp man for when I was gigging I go to practice I take that with me cause I ain't wanna 
take the heavy stuff, so that's what I use that for. And then over here, man, I got my drum set, of course. You know, nothing spectacular, but gets the job done, man. Um, Zildjian and Sabian cymbals is what I'm using, man. And then I got a, a black chrome Tama snare drum, man. Now that thing be popping. I'm not a drummer either. I'm primarily a bass player, but you know I can I can play you know drums and feed it. You know ain't nothing to it but to do it. Now over here is my guitar wall. Yeah, first up, man, I got the Fender Man American Standard Series. Um, this is a 2010 or 11. Let me see. I kind of forgot. Yeah, that's a 2011. That's a 2011, man. Uh, from the American Standard Stratocaster. Then next, man, I have Fender, man. Uh, jazz bass. It's 2008. Five string. Next to it, man, I have a American Standard PV. Uh, P bass. And this is 2008. Pretty cool, man. Here, man, I bought this a couple months ago, man. A little Fender Squire. Uh, vintage modified. It's a five string maple neck. You know. Sound pretty good. You know. Sound like a P bass should. Here, man, I have a six-string LTD, man, uh, spot to maple top. Um, uh, black chrome hardware on it. Quite sure y'all probably seen that uh, guitar before, that bass. And then last, not least, man, I have a, a Squire Bullet Mini. Um, I had bought it for my son, but... Turned out he didn't really want to play as bad as he said he did, but, you know, so I just brought it in here, man, and hung it on the wall, man. I played on it here once in a while, but I'm using Simpson microphones to mic my, uh, my drums. Uh, got a Tom throne here, uh, first chair. Pretty comfortable seat, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's the other PV monitor, man, uh, for the drum monitoring. I got some all uh, flex on the wall. You know, not too much, but it's enough for what I do. I probably will be going back later and add some more, but yeah, man, this my home studio. Oh yeah, and that's that's my microphone. Ain't nothing fancy, man. Uh, Oh, Samson C01 microphone, man. I'm thinking about uh, getting something different. I'm thinking about getting a Bluebird, either Bluebird or yeah, really right now Bluebird is my my uh, number one pick for as what I I want to purchase now. Now, then after that, I probably save up, man, and get me a Newman. You know, can't go wrong with that. But yeah, man, this is my home studio, man. Then I got the, you know, the LEDs in the ceiling, man. If y'all interested in those, man, you can get those at Lowe's for like $50. And then I have the little lamps here, man, with the color changing bulbs in it. Um, I bought those out of my local mall, but... Um, I figured out that they now carry those in Walmart. So if y'all want to get that, man, you know, add a little light into your studio. You know, when you're on chill mode, you don't want the lights on. You put those on, man, kind of, you know, get in the groove. Uh, that's my wall with the R. Lex behind, you know, my mixing station. You know, I had a desk, man, but I took the desk out. I decided I didn't want a desk in here at the moment man but uh i probably end up getting another one pretty soon but um yeah 
I use Logic Pro X as my software. Uh, but that's about it, man. That is about it. Uh, but yeah, man. I don't really do a lot of recording other people, man. I've been recording myself and, you know, my brother and all, man. We working on a little project, you know. But really, man, this is just a hobby for me, man. Just something to do, you know, being that I'm a, a young guy, man. And I had a surgery some years ago and, you know, became disabled. So I needed something to do. Um, so I picked up a bass, man. And from there, man, it turned into all of this. You know, definitely invested a lot of cash into it, man, but, you know, it, 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 it's something for me to do, you know, but anyway, man, there's a lot of other stuff that I know I'm missing in here, you know, um, oh yeah, let's go back over here to this rack, um, this right here, man, is for my wireless microphones, and this here is a power conditioner, um, by Furman, um, yeah, and those was at the bottom, man, those are just, uh, on and off switches, man. Little, uh, little power strip, uh, rack mounted power strip. I use those for my uh, studio monitors. Turn those on and off. Got those out of uh, Guitar Center. Um, my wireless mics are in those cases down there. Um, and, and in that door right there, man, ain't nothing but a bunch of cords, man. You know, a bunch of extra microphone cords and and you know things like that pretty much any kind of cords you can name I have in there um, but yo yeah, man this is my home studio man I appreciate y'all for watching man if y'all like this video please like it share it subscribe to the channel man cause I got a lot more coming man we gonna be talking about cars we gonna talk about music uh, we gonna talk about studio I'm going to bring y'all along as I, you know, build on into this, man, because I'm thinking about building me a, a vocal booth uh, onto this room. Um, but, yeah, like I say, man, if you like the video, man, live, have any questions, man, hey, type it in the comment section, man. I'll try to answer it the best way I can. But I'm going to give y'all another glimpse of my studio with the lights off. This is it, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. I'm out.